G'day everyone. Now you know I'm a Raspberry Pi fan, so when the Raspberry Pi 4 became available, I just had to get one. So after a bit of a wait, it's finally arrived. So I'm going to set this up as probably a recording studio setup and see how it performs. Raspberry Pi 4 case. Good old GPIO, that's what we love it for. So it uses USB-C for the power, which I believe I've got an adapter, which they've stitched me up and they haven't put in there. Cheeky, all right, I'll work around that. And uh, the HDMI outputs, which we have two of. Anyway, I'll put this in the case and see how it goes. Ah yes, USB 3 as well. So this should be good. Okay, I stand corrected. They didn't stitch me up. It was hiding. My little USB, micro USB to USB-C adapter. <laughs> right, I'll set up a memory card and boot this up. Okay, I've got the Raspberry Pi sitting next to this computer that I'm going to use for recording here in the music room. And I'm just going to power it from the PoE splitter here. So I'll just plug that into the network. It should power up. And here we go. Okay, the system's now up and running, pretty standard. So I'm now going to download and install Reaper. Okay, so if you go to reaper.fm, you've got that screen here, and just go to download Reaper. And the version we want, obviously, is a Linux version. And we want the ARM version, because that's the CPU architecture of a Raspberry Pi. So I'll just grab that. Okay, that's downloaded. Okay, so we just open up a console, uh, go to downloads and see what we've got. And there it is, Reaper. Unzip that, and there we go. Okay, so we want to do the installer, and I'll do it as root. Okay, so install it. Install Reaper, that's what we want to do. Yeah, that sounds like a good directory. And add integration, put the link there, and proceed. So let's see how long this takes to install. There you go, done. Okay, so I'll run that now. And it's just in the usual spot, sound and video, Reaper. Now, when you first run it on a Raspberry Pi, you'll probably get an error about the audio device, and I'll tell you why. Here's the error, okay? There's an error opening the audio hardware. Now, if you go to the settings of the audio hardware, you can see that it's got an input of two and output of two channels. Now, the Raspberry Pi doesn't have an input for its sound device, so that's why it's throwing an error. You can get around that by just putting zero for the input channels. And once you do that, you won't have that error. And just to prove that, I'll just close it, start it again. And now it will come up without that error. Okay, so it's installed and ready to go. Now, to be honest, I haven't used Reaper much. I'm just starting to, to play with it here. And I like it mainly because it's on Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, Linux. So that's how to install it. So I'll have a little play and see if we can make a track. So I'll just do insert new instrument track. Okay, and I'll put a synthesizer on it. So there it is. And uh, what have we got? Now oh, I've got a little synthesizer set up. Now I've got a MIDI keyboard controller here connected with a USB cable. So I want to enable that. So to do that, just go to Options, Preferences. And over under Audio and MIDI Devices, you'll see that it's found it, the USB MIDI, but it's disabled. So I've just got to enable that. So I'll enable that. Now I've got a synthesizer there and I've got a MIDI controller. Okay, now I don't have a collection of instruments for this yet, so I can only use really what's built in, like little synthesizers, because I usually use Reason, which comes with lots of sounds. So I'll have to see about building them up. But I have used this for a bit of uh, multi-track audio editing, and the Raspberry Pi does handle that even with like 20-track uh, song so it can handle that it is easy to set up and I just wanted to point out the fact that this program Reaper is available and does run on a Raspberry Pi all right I've just loaded in one of my songs as separate tracks here just to see how it performs and you might recognize the music from my YouTube endings but um, here's how it runs on this thing so you got all the tracks together 
And of course you can break them down to individual tracks. Or whatever. And there you go, and that's, that's the end music. So, it works. One thing I've noticed is that the high temperature icon seems to be on the screen here quite often, even when it's not doing much. So that's a bit of a worry, I don't know what that's about. But that being said, it still works, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, all I'm using this machine for here is to record stuff in the music room here. Because any real editing I'll do, I'll do on the, the main computer. But that's the beauty of being able to run the same software on the Raspberry Pi, is that I can just use the same file format, load it on the real computer, and edit it there. So for now, I'm just going to try and get familiar with Reaper and see how I go. Now I'll just point the camera at the screen here to let you know that the response is actually good. It's only when I had that screen recorder running that it, it seemed jittery, but normally it's fine. So there you go. And there you have it.